Hello beautiful people, Losing Drea here and I'm coming to you with a sort of a craft informational video. Um, lately, I don't know if you see the earrings that I'm wearing, but lately I've been making several pairs of them. I've given quite a few of them away to friends and family over the holidays and all of them are unique original designs all of their own. There are no two alike. Um, I mix and match them if I use the same beads. Some of them I've made the beads myself with polymer clay. Some of them I made with glass beads um, and or a mixture of both. Uh, the thing that I kind of wanted to kind of elaborate on is nickel. Uh, a lot of people wonder uh, whether or not um, there is nickel contained in jewelry that they wear, most definitely with earrings, due to the fact that some people are quite sensitive to nickel, um, and they can have an allergic reaction of sorts from wearing it. I myself have this issue. I've in the past would get either a lump on the inside of my ear, a tiny little lump, um, from wearing fake earrings uh, that are not either 14 karat gold or sterling silver. And sterling silver earrings do not contain any nickel whatsoever. But plated earrings, silver plated, can contain uh, nickel um, and even like the smallest trace amounts, which are, I want to say, allowable, um, are still not allowable in European countries. In European countries, nickel is a no-no at all. It is, it is not allowed to be used whatsoever. So zero trace uh, content, I believe it would um, anything like, so if you make earrings and you sell them to European countries internationally, what have you, then you definitely want to make sure um, if it's plated that it does not contain any nickel whatsoever. And you're probably wondering how do you find these. Now, some packaging um, you might see now I'm just going to show you a couple of different packaging of stuff that I have that I use um, this is just a brand that is sold in um, craft stores here locally in the United States this is Nicole now because I'm using my phone to do this my camera phone uh, it's showing it to you backwards because I've obviously I have it switched around uh, but this basically this is this is um, ear wires if you can see that fish hook earrings with balls okay and this doesn't say anything whatsoever on the packaging about being nickel free therefore I would just assume they are not nickel free not just that but the price that can also be a good indicator um, these are lever back earrings also by the same company also sold by this these came from AC Moore and 14 pieces and they were 40% off the original price of I believe $4.99 or $3.99. Another indicator that I would say these are not nickel free and also the fact it does not say nickel free. Now, 925 sterling earrings uh, which is 92.5% silver and 7.5% um, copper uh, will not contain uh, nickel and neither will nobium um, and nobium is just another non nickel metal and uh, it's available in a wide variety of colors and it is available without plating uh, therefore it's anodized and it's colored colored by dipping it into an electric electrically I'm gonna get tongue tied electrically charged bath and actually the the um, amount of the current determines the color and uh, the most popular anodized colors are teal and purple I absolutely love nobium but no I have not yet made any earrings uh, out of this material also 14 karat yellow gold is commonly made of 58% uh, pure gold 25% pure silver and 17% pure copper and gold can be alloyed with other metals too so if you're familiar with Black Hills gold uh, and or other tri-gold jewelry you may be aware that the rose gold has more copper and the white gold has nickel for color strength so you know nickel is just a durable metal that holds its color well 
So combined with its low price and it's understandably a uh, popular material, but unfortunately, as more people become exposed to it uh, through the ear and body piercings, more people become more sensitive to it and alter alternative, alternative materials uh, must be found. So if you're somebody who happens to be allergic and or sensitive in any way, shape, or form to nickel, uh, you're going to want something that does not contain nickel. Now, this is 0.999 solid, well, silver plating, but it's still plated. But this is a nickel-free product, okay? And this is by Daris, another product that you can get. Uh, I got it in AC Moore, but it's possible that you can get it in either Joann's Fabrics, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, so on and so forth. But this is a flat ear wire. There's 10 pieces in this pack. It is 99.9% pure, I'm tongue-tied today, pure silver plated, and it is nickel-free. And it says that it's on its nickel-free. But it's um, it says that the, the uh, fine silver plating coats the inner brass core of this product, the heavy-duty 6 microns of fine silver plating, and an anti-tarnish coating preserve the beauty of this jewelry finding. And I believe if it had any nickel whatsoever, it would not say nickel free, and it would have to list any percentage of nickel that it has in it. So if I sold earrings to anywhere in Europe, I would definitely use these because I wouldn't want to get in trouble and I wouldn't want anybody else to get in trouble. But um, just so you know, like sterling silver, nobium, and 14 karat gold are pretty much the only metals that you will find that are nickel free. Now, um, this is another nickel free product. This is Beetleon. And I'm going to show you there's two different kinds. These are ear wires, and these are just, um, I don't know if you can see them. I didn't take them out of the package yet, but they're just wires. And they actually lock. They kind of like loop around like a wire, and then they lock. And then these are ear wires also, but these have the um, clipping mechanism kind of like the lever backs, okay? And both of these products are silver-plated, nickel-free, Okay, so just to keep in mind, you can't tell the difference between um, the products. I mean, to be honest with you, they look exactly the same as the lever back earrings. So, you know, I'm saying to myself, I better not get these two confused because these are not nickel free. And these are. These cost me, I think, $4.99 for the value pack, less 40% because they were on sale. But these cost me, I believe, the same $4.99. And here I got 14 pieces, which is going to be seven pairs. And here I got six pieces, which is only three pairs. So there's an obvious difference in price. So if there's any question in your mind as to whether or not um, I use nickel for my earrings, depending on the price that I'm looking to um, make on the earrings, which I do try to keep them reasonably low, I will use a product that probably uh, contains nickel. It doesn't say that it doesn't, therefore I will assume that it does. I do not want anybody um, ruining my reputation by um, having some sort of a reaction. So I will be totally upfront and honest with you if you ask. Now, if you request me to make something for you and you want to commission me to make a, a set, earrings, ring, what have you, then please do specify that you uh, have an allergic reaction to nickel. And if, uh, if available, I mean, earrings are more important than any kind of wire wrapping or whatnot or chains that I might be able to make something out of. Um, but I will definitely do my best to keep it affordable at the same time as giving you uh, what you want and need. So thanks for watching my channel. If you are on a weight loss journey and you came because you watch um, my journey, then I want to thank you very much for sitting through uh, almost 10 minutes of this particular video. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. Bye.